Welcome back to BNC RC for another unboxing. Uh, no shipping box to fight with. I bought this down at Small Addictions, my local RC shop. Uh, walking through to pick up some links that would fix that Corrali Maxu that I had the steering issue with. And uh, just check the shelves quick to see what's new and what's not. Found me a new HPI product. It must be really new. I don't even think they know about it yet because it's not on their website. At least it wasn't yesterday. I'm assuming it's brand new. Maybe it's old and fell through the cracks. I didn't know about it before. But we got an E10 drift car. Uh, this makes me very happy. I don't really care about Jap cars. or I, I like drift cars, but not crazy about them. Don't go out of my way looking for them. But I'm happy to see HPI broadening its selection all the time. Stuff becoming more and more available from them. I'm hoping they keep the good trend going and get back to their former glory. Because I've always been a big fan of HPI. I'm going to try to keep the filth talk to a minimum so I can actually post this video over on HPI's Facebook page so they know that I'm supporting them. Maybe they'll send me a hat or a t-shirt or something for all these rigs I keep buying. Uh, the TF41. Pretty nice radio. It's pretty common. I think I've gotten a couple of them with the jump shot trucks. Seems a little more quality than what some ready to runs come with. Here's our European plug wall charger, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. Add that to the collection. Oh. Still the Tamiya plugs. Hopefully, they hear me bitching about that and stop with that nonsense one of these days. 2000 milliamp hour on a Tamiya plug, nickel metal battery. And they're still including the double A's for the radios. A lot of companies are kind of getting away from that lately, I'm seeing. HPI still gives them. The box was already open because me and Jimbo took a look at it down at Small Editions. Oh, what do we got here? There's some weird thing there that I don't recognize. I don't know exactly what that is. Some different hexes, a little bit of hardware. Uh, I'm not sure what any of that other plastic stuff is in there. There's an Allen wrench. Okay, let's get the cool looking car out here. Uh, oh, almost forgot about the manual. Let us not forget the manual. not going to go through and try to pronounce the guy's name, the driver of this car. It must be a replica of a real drift car, because I can't begin to pronounce that name. <laughs> Let's see. E10 HPI stickers. Always good for the stickers. Oh, their new car smell is awesome. Uh, don't burn your house down mornings. <laughs> E10 drift manual. I'm uh, curious the difference between the drift and the on-road car because I have one of those coming too. It'll be here anytime, probably really next week. The Michelle Abbott Scion SCS or however, whatever it is. Kit card. I have to look into that see what all that's about someday. I don't usually pay attention to the literature and bullshit that comes with these things. Pretty decent manual, same as uh, HPI always comes with. I'm missing a zip tie. Shipping dropped the ball a little bit on that one. Or maybe they did it on purpose. They knew I was going to end up with it when they sent it to Small Addictions and they hear me bitching in my reviews about these goddamn zip ties. <laughs> we looked at the car inside the box. We did not unbox it at the hobby shop. We just kind of looked down in on it. Motherfucker. So much for watching the language. There we go. Nissan Skyline GTR BNR 34 E10 drift car. That is pretty sweet looking. HPI really has a knack for the bodies. 
and the wheels. I hope they get back in the market of selling queer bodies and wheels. I'm sure if they offer this body in a queer version, it would be pretty popular with the guys who love Jap cars more than I do. But they used to offer a lot of cool vintage muscle cars and a pretty wide variety of bodies and on-road wheels and monster truck wheels and all kinds of stuff that I kind of missed being a part of the market. Hopefully they'll get back to it. Uh, body feels a little thin, but it's just a drift car. You're not going to run this thing off the Punisher and beat the fuck out of it. It's thicker windows, but it doesn't look bad on this kind of car. Pretty nice detail on that Lexan body. Uh, this is kind of their entry level. Holy shit, that rear suspension is stiff. They didn't forget that. Zip tie must be a tour through the cardboard. Must have had a rough ride somewhere. Nippers are on the floor. Oh, watch the fat fuck bend down to pick stuff up. <laughs> there we go. Now the suspension's working. Uh, it's all plastic. Kind of shiny plastic. It's probably not the most durable stuff in the world, but it doesn't need to be. It's an on-road car. It's a drifty car. Uh, drift tires are just hard plastic, but these do have a tread cut into them. I'm curious to see if they last any longer than uh, smooth drift tires. And if you've ever fucked around with drift tires, you know that the tires don't last very long. Especially if you run them out on the street on regular asphalt. That's a 27 turn motor. It seems kind of low speed, but depending on how it's gearing, it might be fine. That damn Tamiya plug, I'm going to have to cut that off because I think I'm taking this to work tomorrow to test run it. Um, the shocks are plastic. I don't see any adjustment to them, but there's not really a lot of suspension movement on this car, so I don't know what you think you would adjust. Um, drive axles are plastic, but they look like they have a big drive end on them. It might be okay. I've heard the pinion gears... And the diffs are a little suspect in these, being that they're also plastic. We'll see. Uh, there's a lot of upgrades out there for this car. HBI has a pretty wide variety of them. Intigy has a pretty good selection and a bunch of different colors of aluminum for this car. Maybe I'll do a few upgrades on this if I like it enough. Hope I like it with another one of them coming. There it is. The HPI E10 Drift. Pretty sweet. I like it. If nothing else, it'll look good down in the shelf.